welcome back to World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade Classic Blind. I'm gonna go jump in a volcano. Now, maybe not jump into a volcano, but I'm going to a volcano. For one of our quests. We gotta kill some fiery guys. Or some ash. And then we will continue on all over the place. There's lots to do. We can probably fight him by... I want to go to the volcano first. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to go to a volcano. You jerks. Looks like there's two dungeons here, so that's worth possibly checking out. Not tar guys. We already did the tar guys. That, that is no longer a priority. This is, if these rivers were just a little bit shallower, we wouldn't have so many problems. Ah well. Fire Plume Ridge. Here is a Blazing Invader, level 54 Elemental. Alright. Our swords are nice and sharp. Reduces movement speed. That's not too bad. I can live with that. And we got our first ash. First question. Step on the red. All good. This is all 55. These are very level appropriate enemies we got here. Doing a bit of damage. But not too much. Not enough to worry about. Manageable. Core of elements. Not worth much. Interesting. We could probably go with eating a food after this one. Ouch. My body. Let's go with the stamina fish. Could probably go for a full well fed buff item, but kind of want to get through these partial fish first. Because why not? They're taking up inventory space. That's, that's a good enough reason. And we, we hit that entire fish. Yeah, that doesn't actually heal very much. I guess the buff is what you're really there for. We're fighting a fire in a fire. We're not doing a very good job of it. I can't do that. Ouch. Being on fire kind of hurts, turns out. We're getting a lot of this ash though, so that's good. to walk around the volcano here. Or let's try heading up the volcano. Yeah, we should probably eat a food. That's a very good food. We will eat these bad cod first, I suppose. Yeah, look how much that heals. 2,148. We are still rocking these striped yellowtail for our main supply of food here. Maybe next time we go fishing we can 
find some better supplies. The ash is coming in very easily though. So I'm not too worried about that. The guys outside are level 54, 55. I wouldn't be surprised if in the volcano things were even stronger. Let's see if we can climb up this. Yep. Where are we at now? I can't go that way. It's like the main mouth of the volcano is over this side. Okay, I bet jumping in that lava hurts. So I'm not actually gonna jump in the volcano. Oh my goodness, what is this? Blaze Runner. Level 56 Elite. Okay, that's good. Looks pretty cool. It's got like a tornado thing going on. Won't be messing with him. He's a little bit too strong. Keeps casts, he keeps on casting Scorch, which should not come as any surprise. He is a Scorching Elemental, in fact. Essence of Fire. Not worth much. Good to have, though. I, I think. It's probably fine. Picture of a volcano. It's very fiery. Let's see if we can find our way to this second cave up here. That's probably worth at least checking out. The first one had a very strong fire in it. So I would not be surprised if this other one also has a strong fire in it. Oh, this one's all 56. Noted. Four. Where is he? Lost. Our quest is up here. Find Ringo at Firefly Ridge. His friend Ringo. I wonder if he's alive up here in the volcano. Seems like a very hostile place. All things considered. I am not... I am not holding up much hope. Honestly. We got a heart of fire. That's worth money. This one's a scary fire. Now there is a... Real possibility that a fire will attack us. I'm going to chance it. Talk to Ringo. Well, what? Acquired. Swangle's Canteen. Oh, I'm so glad someone found me. A little help from my friends. Ugh, it's so hot. I was exploring this area, when all of a sudden, the heat just became unbearable. I must be suffering from heat exhaustion. Please help me get back to my friend Spraggle at Marshall's Refuge. I think I'm well enough to follow you there. I'm feeling a little out of it, so if I do happen to faint again, just splash some water on me from Spraggle's canteen. That should work, I hope. Lead Ringo to Spraggle. Frock at Marshall's Refuge. If he faints, use the canteen to revive him. he will be rewarded with some stuff. Plate with less armor, less stamina, some spirit, no strength, and increased dodge rating. Cloth legs, stamina, spirit, and healing. And a Male head with agility and spirit. 
Eh. Not particularly excited about any of these. No strength, no critical. That is cloth. No strength. It's got a lot of agility and spirit, but this one, mine, mine has strength, stamina, and attack power, so that's definitely better. So we're probably just gonna go with the one with the highest vendor price. But hey, that's still two gold. I'm not worried about that. Shall far I'll make it say I'm feeling kind of faint. Alright, let's get you. If I faint, give him water. Okay, come on. And we need to probably fight a fire. Too far away. Because we need one more ash here. And we've got we got 25 minutes to finish this quest. That's that's not gonna be a problem. Hey, it's helping. Now that's just strategy right there. Get Ringo to help you. I wonder if we could take him on all of our quests. Hey, there's the nine ash we needed. Alright. Now the question is, are we gonna have any problems? Oh, there's a there's an ore up here. A rich thorium vein. Maybe you could carry me. Miko falls to the ground. Where's our canteen? Revive Ringo. Quite soaked, thank you. Alright. There's a rich thorium up there, we're going for it. Come on, Ringo. I know I'm supposed to be helping you get back to safety. But there is a thorium to be had. I'm sure you will I'm sure he understands. Thought we'd be able to walk past that fire. Unsuccessful. In all sorts of levels. That's always good. Look at this magma spire. That's pretty cool. We have fancy arcane crystal, auction value five gold. That's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. Just the thorium themselves is one gold each. But another 550? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We got a new stack of dense stone and thorium. All right, the heat. I can't take it. Yeah, I I have kept him in the volcano for a pretty long time. He's feeling a little better. That's good. I wonder if I could get on a mount for this. We should try. How fast can a Ringo go? Not that fast. Alright. I bet if we get too far away, it'll break the quest. Let's not do that. He's a pretty fast swimmer, though. So that's something. Alright. Just avoid the large elite dinosaurs creeps in around up here. Should be able to get him back nice and easy. We should definitely be careful to not aggro anything while we're running. Because he might just fall over. And that would not be beneficial for this whole thing. Okay. 
So who wanted this ash? Volcanic activity? Ratchet. Okay. So we can unselect that one. We've got it completed, but we're not going to be able to turn it in right now. So That's okay. I don't think we've come across a timed quest that has actually mattered at all what the time was. It's all been ridiculously generous in the time frame it's given me. Which is okay. It's just really not given much suspense. Plenty of time to go fight some more fire guys, go mining. Ah well. See if you can make it up this last part without. Nope. If we're out of the volcano now. He's having a hard time. I must go on. Yeah, we're right here, man. We are right here. All right, who wanted this guy? Spraggle. I didn't think I'd make it back. Ringo, you're okay. Oh, I'm feeling faint. Uh. <laughs> Ringo, wake up. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. I already did it. I've preempted the quest, apparently. Time is money, friend. Ringo's not in the best shape, Eric Axon, but I'm glad to have him back in one piece. Thank you for finding him. Spirit stamina legs. Spirit stamina legs. Agility spirit helm. He will take the one that sells for two gold. Hurry back. And we get some XP for it. Very good. I would like to sell these legs. Some burning pitch. Core of elements. Coal. That sense of fire is really cheap. I'll just get rid of it. We will keep this heart of fire though. That's pretty worthwhile. Off with you. I need this canteen anymore? Well, Probably not. I need doing business with I need to target something first. Hmm. Interesting. If you ever need anything. Yeah, this is just for Douse and Ringo. We're done with that, so we don't need this. Okay. Very good. Was not expecting an escort quest from the volcano, but we managed. Next up, on a quest I want to try to finish, the Western Pylon. I know I could just, I could probably fight some stuff on the way over there, but I do want to finish what's what's going on with these pylons first. Maybe get all these crystals out of my inventory. A good thing to have done. So it's gonna be 
if the previous pylon quests are any indication. It's gonna be up along the ridge to the west here. Let's go check it out. I'm really not too worried about my sharpened blades running out. Because we have so many of them. Like, literally we got, just on us we have another seven hours of sharp blades. So, I think I can manage. This side of Ungoro Crater is much more dangerous. Higher level enemies. Many elites. So we need to make our search of the western walls with due diligence. get a good vantage point here. Not expecting it to, not expecting to find it instantly. We might be able to get some information. Looks like almost a path, but that's a little too steep. It's pretty much the furthest north point, so. Probably further south. I didn't pay too much attention to whether the northern and eastern pylons were directly in the center. They're just around here somewhere. Frenzy Pterodax. Many a fancy pterodax. Not much in the way of pylons there, though. So we'll continue our search. Looks like there might be a way up right here. Yep. For more fancy pterodaxes. It seems like the pylons have mostly been visible from the side here. Look at that guy. There it is. Seems to just be a lot of pterodax nests in these areas. I'm gonna take these blue power crystals for luck. And observe the western pylon. Oh, there's a rich thorium vein up there. Mystery. A table containing red, blue, and green crystals in a specific seems like specific information. Formation. Large red crystal large red circle of crystals on the inside by a smaller blue crystal turn than a green. Carefully take notes. on the Pterodax quest. We need the glands. We need a mythical casing. Blood petals. Pterodax and Demetrodons and dinosaur bones. Alright. So we'll fight some stuff. We need 15 frenzied pterodaxes. Then I think we can get the pterodax scales from the regular ones. So we don't need to worry about that. And we can probably fight lower level Demetrodons too. That should be okay. Oh, 
Where are you flying? Eh. Seems to be a good number of them up here. Oh, is that guy going for the wrist volume? Possible. I will head over that way. Yeah, these guys do not do as much damage as those fire elementals did. So that's good. They're also lower level, so not too surprising. Except for this one. He's the same level. Should be able to take care of these guys quickly enough. We can... Then we need eight of each of the wings. This rich thorium is very profitable for us, too. And we're almost maxed out on mining. Very good. Well, maxed out for now. Oh, yeah, look at all this thorium. Fantastic haul. That's rich thorium for you, I suppose. It's not messing around. You would think a flying enemy would be better at dealing with melee attacks, but... Not my problem. It's the opposite of my problem. It's my benefit. Maybe spend more time. Not right next to me. They do like swooping attacks. I don't know. That would just be a smidge unfair when all I have as a ranged weapon is shoot gun. Not exactly a ranged based character. That's that's this clutch of frenzied pterodax dealt with. Don't mind these blue crystals, cause why not? We can head around to more of them. Terex seem to like being up on the cliffs. Blood Petal Sprout. I think that's what you can trade. You can you can give those to the Kodo. You need like fifteen of them. So I'll keep my eye out for that on my travels. Unfortunately, it is a green thing in the area of green things. So, not the easiest to see. That's okay. This looks like a smaller area up here. It's probably gonna be less Pterodax. Can 
my less, I mean maybe just two. Easy experience, at least. That's something. Yeah, there's a bug. There's more up here. Well, we are halfway done with half of this quest, so that's something. I guess we can fight some of these down here on the ground. As long as we're careful to not. Aggro multiple things. We still have all the regular Teradax for this quest, too. So. so the Blood Petal and the Blood Petal Sprout are different things, in fact. Good to know. Elder Dimetrodon. Everything keeps giving me soil. Don't really need more soil. That's okay. We can s we can't sell it. So say we'd sell it for a little bit. Actually, not true. False. Here's a blood petal sprout. Then we probably need to kill the blood petals to get blood petal. Would make sense. Okay, these are not the easiest to see. They're a bit bigger than the grasses, though, so. Doesn't make it too difficult on me. Five more of the frenzied pterodax to go. And pretty good work of that. Some geysers. We are in the hot spring, so that makes a lot of sense. And we've almost got enough of the webs too. So that's good. Won't have to worry about that from the irregular Pterodaxes. I think we saw a bunch of fledgling Pterodaxes in another location, so those won't count for this quest. It's very specific about the names of things. those eggs for that quest. Just gonna need to look around more in the Ravisaur area. Should be doable. And we're there fighting other Dimetrodons. These frenzy pterodaxes, not a huge deal. There's one. That'll be the last one. the bloodthirst, unfortunately. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, we got all these scales too. Very good. Keep my eye out for the sprouts. Those might be just all over the place. Like the soil and the crystals. I think we needed 15 for that quest. So, quite a few. Expecting that we might need to go back to the pylons again with the various crystals. The exact number of each, though, is going to be the question. Regular direction. Back to Marshall's Refuge. This one you need to turn in down at the entrance. We got enough space to pick up those two quests that were on the ground out here. So maybe we can try that. But let us see what's going on with the crystals first. Hopefully it's not three quests to go to each of the three pylons again. Because we don't have... I mean, if... Oh, actually, if we turn in the western pylon quest, then we'd have three spaces. So, even if it is three quests to go to each of the pylons, we actually could do that. But there's also the possibility that this is the end of the quest line. I feel like it, I feel like it really is more leading up to what's going on, so let's see what's happening. Hmm, interesting. The many hidden areas along the sides. So we're in the winding paths. To the pylons. Making sense of it. The information you have given me about the pylons is very interesting. We want to do some calculations, Eric Erickson. Speak to me again in a moment, and I should be able to give you the answer we have all been looking for. If JD call in a moment, I will use the Crystal Pylon user manual. Very good. Quest accepted. Hi, you're a tall one. Quest completed. Alright, Eric Erickson. This is fascinating. I can only hope that my diagrams are correct. I compiled everything into this manual, which you can have. I believe I can answer any questions you have about the crystals now, Eric Erickson. Be seeing you. Crystal Pylon Manual. Now let's see, if I'm correct then, hmm. Blue plus red, I predict. Okay, Erickson, that's it. I finally figured it out. I figured it out. Crystal Pylon User Manual. A guide to collecting and using the power crystals of Ungoro Crater. The Northern Pylon. Except yellow, red, and green crystals. The pylon focuses the energy that can be created using yellow crystals as the main source of power. There are two possible effects, one that, will, one that will produce damage and one that will negate damage. Crystal charge requires red and yellow crystals to produce a large explosion. Crystal restore requires yellow and green crystals. This will provide you with a healing aura. Northern pylon table diagram. Oh my goodness. Wow. So it's six of the smaller ones and then 
Eight of the larger ones. Eastern pylon. Painted using blue crystals as the main power source. One that provides bonus to spirit, one that provides a damaging shield. Blue and green, so we need an increase in spirit. Blue and yellow, so we create a shield that does damage to attackers. Eight blue and then six green and yellow. Western pylon. Uses red crystals as the main power source. Increases your protection from damage, one that weakens an enemy's defenses. Has an increase to armor, lower magic, one that can lower the armor of a specific target. Western pylon, 10 of that Interesting. I don't know. I don't know about that. Weird. There's blue and yellow. Two possible effects. I don't know if you get to choose which effect you get. You try out the northern pylon. It's a healing aura. See if she has anything to say. What about the eastern pylon? This is the crystals. Bonus spear and damage. Sin spirit. Damage attack. Yeah, this is just this is just a book. You have a great day now. Northern. Very well then. Interesting. Well, let's go take a look at this. Depending on what these buffs are probably gonna be very temporary. I don't know if it's really worth lugging around the crystals. Try, constantly try to get these working again. It's an interesting system, at least. Very peculiar. Let's try the northern one. It might explode. So that's fun. If we can get some information from this first pylon, that might tell us how strong and how long-lasting the other effects might be. I need to go around here. Pass the tar guy. Snake. That's not quite right. There's just some pterodax up there. There we are. Ah, uh, so this is the repeatable quest kind of look. The power in time has crystals restore crystal charge. Pile tile allows you to combine red power crystals with yellow power crystals. When you do this now, you know this thing. Commission can be used to create a large explosion and inflict damage on your enemies. Ten red and ten yellow. So it's not exactly the right it's not exactly the same number it was in the chart. Okay. Arranging the crystals on the table, carefully on the colors, as you push the last one into place, a burst of light fuses the crystals together. It's now yours. So we need crystal charges. Use inflict 383 to 517 fire damage to targets in a three yard radius. Hmm. enough of those still. Green and yellow. This one is a heal. So I'm gonna find one chunk of yellow crystals. I could grab some kind of healing something. That's green. Almost had it. 
also green. So it's just a random explosion we can do. You can do six explosions for every ten crystals you find. That's a that's a that's a lot actually. That's not that's not super helpful. Yellow crystals. Of course we only get one. We need to get two yellow crystals. We manage to get one. Great. Interesting. And it's got a one minute cooldown. Okay. I feel like that's probably not something that people go and stock up a whole bunch on. Just some extra damage crystal things. Interesting. If not particularly useful. Right. So I expect the healing ones to also be probably potion equivalent. Specifically what level of potion is to be seen. All right, crystal. Crystal restore. Yellow and green to make healing. Let's just light fuse the crystal together. Crystal restores. Heals the target for 670 damage over 15 seconds. Interesting. I guess the question is going to be if this uses the potion timer. And it's also not instant. It's similar to a food. Heals faster. Worse than a bandage. Eh. It's, in it's interesting, at least. I don't think I'm going to... Worry about getting at the other ones. If this is roughly the power level we're working with here. A large explosion, a healing aura. A small increase in spirit. A shield that does a little bit of damage. A little bit of armor. And a bonus sunder armor. All right. Don't think we really need those. It's an interesting system. I have the finest wares in the land. That's still awesome stuff. Gizzards, skins. Can sell a book. I can't can't even sell these to these guys. Bummer. I guess if you wanted to, you could buy a whole bunch of these crystals on the auction house. Trade them in for a whole bunch of these crystals. These are worth keeping. Not these ones, at least. I don't need the book. This one says eight silver, and we got 15 of them. That's at least something. We're, we're keeping cheaper things. Eight for eight. I have a 
a bonfire anywhere. We'll keep these for now. See how things go. But that'll be it for now. There is still plenty of things to fight in Ungoro Crater. Pterodaxes, Dimetrodons, Blood Petals, Ravisaurs, Silithids. And we're gonna hit them all with our sword and axe. Nicely sharpened. And have a five of them explode. Next time. Goodbye.